Behold the speed of light. For humans, it represents the ultimate limit, second only to thought itself. But do you know that even this seemingly unimaginable speed is considered slow on a cosmic scale? Why is it said that, at light speed, humans could never truly escape the solar system? In reality, the universe may still hold possibilities for faster-than-light travel, at least theoretically. One idea involves bending space-time itself to achieve superluminal travel, all without violating the principles of relativity. However, this concept has largely been dismissed for now. Another possibility is quantum entanglement, a mysterious phenomenon that allows for instant correlation between particles across vast distances. While it exists, using it for teleportation remains an enormous scientific challenge, one that may not be solved even in the next few centuries. So for now, we're still bound to the speed of light. But is it really fast or slow? Let's take a look. Light takes only three seconds to travel from Earth to the Moon and back. In contrast, a human-made spacecraft takes two to eight days for the same trip. So in the context of lunar exploration, light speed makes little practical difference. But once we zoom out to interplanetary distances, the difference becomes striking. The distance from Earth to Mars is about 55 million kilometers, and light takes just three minutes to get there. A spacecraft, on the other hand, would need at least six months. Consider Voyager 1, currently the farthest man-made object, having traveled into interstellar space. It's now about 24 billion kilometers from Earth. At light speed, the journey would take 22 hours, but Voyager 1 has taken 46 years to reach that point. And then there's Proxima Centauri, just four light years away, seemingly close, yet heartbreakingly out of reach. Even at the speed of light, it would take four full years of non-stop travel to arrive. It takes four years for light to reach Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth. In contrast, Voyager 1 would need approximately 73,500 years to arrive there, just to catch a glimpse of the hypothetical wonders of a place like the Trisolaris world. Yet even that is far from enough. With humanity's current level of technology, we are nowhere near capable of reaching star systems beyond the solar system, let alone crossing the over 100,000 light-year diameter of the Milky Way. And beyond that lies the Andromeda Galaxy, the closest galaxy to Earth, which is a staggering 